In this clip we will show that uh, a system of linear equations can be written very efficiently as a matrix vector product. So look at the system here. The system can be rewritten if we group the coefficient related to the variable. So we take all coefficients related to the variable x1, then we get a column a11 to a n1. And we add the second column related to the second variable, so the second column of coefficients to the second variable, then we get a12 to a1 n2 etc. until the nth column where we have xm then we write a 1m to a nm we get a linear combination of columns of a kind of matrix we'll see in a minute and on the right hand side we group the the vector of known terms the b terms Then we can write this as a matrix vector product. Ax is B. Where A consists of the columns vectors that we indicated before. Yeah, A consists of the first column related to X1. The second column related to the variable x2, etc. And the nth column of A relates to the variable xm. Moreover, now we write x is in components the variable x1 to xm. And B is just the right hand side of the equation. B1 to Bm. So let's denote the system of linear equations with a star. Then solving the system of linear equation amounts to finding an x such that Ax equals B. Consider the following example. The question here is whether a given vector b is a linear combination of two others. So the question is, let's take a vector b111. Is this vector a linear combination of two others? v1 equals 1, 2, 3. and v2 equals 4, 5, 6. Well, first we have to question ourselves again what it means to be a linear combination of two vectors. Well, if v were a linear combination of two vectors, then there must be x1 scalars x1 and xb such that b can be written as the combination of x1 times v1 plus x2 times v2. So we're going to rewrite this in vector form. So the vector 1, 1, 1 should be equal to x1, 1, 2, 3. plus x2, 4, 5, 6, for some candidates x1 and x2. So now we add the right hand side over here. We make it just one vector. 
So the first coordinate should be equal to x1 plus 4x2, the second one to 2x1 plus 5x2, and the third one to 3x1 plus 6x2. Well, actually, this can be written as a matrix vector product. Yeah, since here we get the coefficients of the matrix 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6 times the vector x and the vector x consists of two components x1 and x2 and it should be equal to b which is 1, 1, 1 so actually we try to solve a system of linear equations here we try to find x1 and x2 such that the equation x1 plus 4x2 etc equals 1 1 1 is valid. So now we've solved the system, we form an augmented matrix, and the augmented matrix is, is no more than the matrix A here and the matrix AB here. So we draw a blue line to indicate that on the right hand side we have the vector of known terms. And we calculate the reduced row echelon form for this matrix. So as a first step we have a candidate pivot, one over here, and we subtract the right amounts of row one just to create the zeros in column one. And we get a second matrix over here. So now we created a pivot in, in, in uh, element 1, 1, coordinates 1, 1. Well, the second row we multiply with minus 1 third, then we'll create a pivot over here. So we get 1, 4, 1, 0, 1, 1 third. And if we subtract this row we just created, we, if we add it two times, to the third row, we create a zero over there, zero, 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 we get a zero row, a row of zero entries. So since we have two pivots and we have a row of zero entries, yeah, we may clean up the system a little bit more, create the reduced row echelon form, we need to the four here to go, and we can do this by manipulating row one. Then we get the following system, which is consistent with two variables and two pivots, and the other row, the third row, is a row full of zeros. So we get a unique solution, and we read here that the variable x1 should be equal to minus one third and x2 should be equal to one third. So we may check this. We form the combination minus one third times the vector one, two, three, and we add one third times times four, five, six. And if we just check for the first coordinate, minus one third plus 4 over 3 equals, of course, 1, etc. And you can check this for the other coordinates as well. Example, consider the following 2 by 2 system of linear equation. Well, this is a rather small system, of course. Well, we're going to solve it just like we did before by calculating the reduced row echelon form. We form the augmented matrix. And if you perform the necessary elimination, Gauss-Jordan elimination steps, you, are, you will arrive at the identity matrix on the left-hand side of the blue line, and on the right-hand side you see the elements 2, 1. So, from which we read that actually a solution to the system is 2, 1, a vector 2, 1. Another way of saying this is that the vector 7, 4 equals 2 times yeah, since x1 is equals 2, it is 2 times the first row plus 2 times the second uh, uh, row, uh, the first column, and 1 times uh, the second column. 
So here we draw the lines. Actually, we have two lines here. And uh, solving the system amounts to finding the point of intersection. Another way of uh, expressing this is that we need to express the vector 7, 4 as a linear combination of 3, 1 and 1, 2. Well, actually, we've seen that we need to take 2 times the vector 3, 1 and add 1 times 1, 2 to arrive at 7, 4. So here we get 7, 4, which is the sum of the two vectors, 2 times 3, 1 and 1 times 1, 2. So this is a geometric interpretation of solving the system, of solving a 2 by 2 system.